Hello, everyone, and welcome. Happy Tuesday to you all. Make sure that we have sound over here on Facebook. Mm -hmm. um, happy Tuesday we do. All right, thanks so much for joining me for this conversation today. Um, if you are just catching the replay, I would love, or you're with me live, either way, I would love it if you would drop a little emoji or come say hi so I know that you are here. Welcome, welcome. Today we're gonna to be talking about how to make money with doTERRA. Um, it's a pretty big topic and full transparency is one that I don't go into a whole lot of detail um, on here in our group. But I've been getting lots of questions about it lately, and I thought this was as good a time as any to come on and educate you and share a little bit about my story. Um, if you're here, this means that your interest has been piqued for one reason or another, and so I just want to honor you, whether you're catching this on the replay or watching with or watching me live. Um, so honor you for taking the time out to learn a little bit more with me. If you have questions, whether it's after this time or during, please feel free to pop it into the Zoom chat if you're here on Zoom or over on Facebook. I do have both up, so I should be able to hopefully um, manage all of the comments and all the things, but you all know how I like to get on a roll. Okay, I know I had a couple other people who are gonna be jumping on, so I'm gonna take a quick second just to oil up really fast. I am using rosemary and wild orange for this call. Rosemary is the oil of knowledge and transition, and wild orange is the oil of abundance, and they smell super yummy together. So as we're talking about how to make money with Zotero, I thought those would be two really perfect ones to use. Plus, I actually really like rosemary lately for opening up um, sinuses. I don't know if any of y'all are having some sniffles with all the pollen count going on, but I know I sure am. <laughs> awesome. All right. I'm going to go ahead and share my screen. I do have a little PowerPoint um, ready for us here. Okay. So we're going to talk about building a business with doTERRA, the joy of sharing oils, some of the meat and potatoes of what we do, but we're also going to be just scratching the surface in a lot of ways here. So know that if this is something that is calling out to you and after this conversation, it's really resonating. My team and I have a whole bunch of systems and things that we can plug you into if and when you're ready to take a next step, whatever the right next step looks like for you. And we'll go over some of the different ways to, to do that here. The, one of my most favorite things about my experience in building a business with doTERRA is there's literally people who do this from all walks of life. So whether you are, you know, a millennial and you have a big social media following or you are a glamma and you just love getting together with your people, um, maybe, maybe for book club and sharing oils with them there, it is fully possible for you to make an income with doTERRA and using any and all of the different avenues and platforms that we have, which is really cool. And I think one of the things that really helps to doTERRA, helps doTERRA stand out as a company. So you know that here in our group, you know, we, we talk a lot about teaching you different ways to really empower yourselves and take care of yourself, your home, your life. And this is also another way we're going to be talking to you about how to just empower yourself and taking a, a little bit more control over your finances. Um, doTERRA does operate on what we call a, a passive or residual income model. So I know many of you already know this, doTERRA is in the direct selling or network marketing business. And I think it's a really interesting conversation we can have around doTERRA and why they chose this particular business model. Um, because I'm like many of you, I was using a different essential oils, a different essential oils from a different essential oil company before I came to doTERRA and had absolutely no education, no idea what I was doing. I didn't even realize that quality or purity mattered or was a thing I needed to be worried about, right? So when doTERRA came on the map, it was almost like the wool had been kind of lifted from my eyes. And I remember feeling very overwhelmed in the beginning. And so I'm super grateful, actually, that doTERRA adopted the direct selling model because I had a network of people to plug into who could sort of help guide me. And I know um, that myself and a lot of our leaders here have been able to do that for so many of you. You know, someone that you can reach out to and say, like, hey, I stubbed my toe. What essential oil can I use for that? Or, hey, I have this oil that's been staring at me in my cabinet for six months and I don't know how to use it. Um, and it's just been really great to have kind of that, that, that network of people. So sometimes I think that network marketing kind of has this very well-deserved sort of black eye um, in, in our culture today because it can, it can come off as um, being very unfeeling and companies don't have a lot of heart and they're really in it for kind of these get rich quick schemes. And I will tell you right out the gate, doTERRA is not that way. Um, so I'm actually about to celebrate my sixth anniversary with doTERRA as a customer, which is super cool, which means about five years of learning and building this as, uh, as a business. So it definitely is something for the long game. I have seen people who have made, you know, an abundant income in a very short amount of time, people who have made a trickle income over many, many years, people on any, and anywhere in that spectrum, which is really cool too. But it definitely is um, a company that is founded on 
teaching other people what someone else has taught you. And so I think if they had adopted like a traditional retail model where you would go into a store, even a doTERRA storefront, right, and pick an essential oil bottle off the shelf, you kind of lose that humanity and that connection. And then you don't really have a, a need to have things like our Facebook group here or community events that, that we often do. Remember those? Remember community events? <laughs> when we could get together in person, we will again very soon, my friends, I'm sure. Um, so if you've ever wondered why doTERRA adopted the direct selling model, there you have it. That's definitely the reason why. And also what I love about the direct selling model, which I didn't even know was a thing, honestly. I got started doing doTERRA when I was a teacher. And I specifically remember telling my upline, please don't contact me. I don't want to do one of these things. I have no interest in building this as a business, right? And here we are six years later and you all are in my group, right? And that's what we're doing here together today. So you just really never know where it's going to go. But what I've really appreciated in learning and in my time here at doTERRA is that they've got so many like built-in systems and you know, you already love the product if you're a customer, right? And you're here in this group. And there's so many like built-in systems and networks and trainings and things like that that I've truly never felt alone or in the dark there's always someone to contact there's always help to be to be found there's always inspiration to uncover and that's um, been been really really helpful so there's a little bit about my story there i did uh, use doTERRA for a, a solid year before i enrolled my first customer and i have slowly just been kind of figuring it out ever since and doing it in a way and showing up in a way that feels good that feels good to me which as so many of you know now is is mostly virtual um, with our rv life being on the road but i do partner with a lot of people who also share doTERRA and and have earned an income and aren't on Facebook at all. They're not even here in this Facebook group, right? So it's completely possible. Um, and yeah, okay, I think I, I think I covered my story for sure. Um, so I think it's important for us to recognize that there are what we call three different types of people or people who make an income with doTERRA. So here's what that kind of looks like, right? They're going to just live the wellness lifestyle, which honestly, everybody is also a type one person, right? Um, you, if you can't live the wellness lifestyle, if you're not using your essential oils, it's gonna be very, very difficult for you to sell a product. So I think that probably goes without saying. So we all live the wellness lifestyle as customers. There are eight and a 8.7, I think, almost 9 million customers globally now. And of those 80%, eight, some 85%, something like that, are people who are customers who are living the wellness lifestyle who have no interest in building the business or earning an income with doTERRA they are customers they are loving their oils and they're they're really you know embodying this empowerment and this um this lifestyle here and we kind of have like step two which is the next level and that would be sharing right so what we call our sharers is people who want to share their love of essential oils with the people in their life and maybe get their products paid for so this is how i got started out I was just a customer for a year, and I don't mean to say like just a customer as if that isn't amazing, right? All of our customers are, are awesome, and this is how we begin. So I started out being a customer for a year, and then I had a couple friends and family start approaching me. They wanted their oils. So I figured out how I could do that, how I could just share with a couple of people and cover the cost of my, my essential oils. Um, so full transparency, I have not paid for any of my doTERRA products out of my own money aside from you know what I earn on the commission structure with doTERRA in probably five years. It wasn't very long. It was maybe two to, two to three months after I started intentionally sharing doTERRA that I was able to replace um, and cover the cost of my oils, which has been really cool and a huge blessing to me and my family. And honestly, that was my main motivator is I had people in my life who wanted oils and also I wanted to be able to cover the cost of these, of these products. Um, the step, the step three, the next step is kind of like a natural progression is when you are truly wanting to build a business. You're wanting to like earn an income, make an impact in the world, maybe have your own, you know, team that you're leading. And there is a lot of, there is kind of a, a swing in between the share and the build, right? So we have some people who want to share their products and maybe earn a couple thousand dollars a month. And then there are people who want to build these massive empires. Um, and I've connected with so many of them. Social media is such a great tool in that respect for so many, for so many people. Um, you, you know, all the way up to people I know who are making between thirty and forty thousand dollars a month. And what I find very interesting about doTERRA is I've been to so many of their, um, you know, conventions and leadership retreats and in-person events, and they they never discuss income earnings. There's never a car that gets driven across the stage or, um, you know, special prizes or anything like that. And they're also very open with us about what the company is making, and I really, really appreciate that. So some people um, have been open with sharing what their income is. And if you want to have that conversation with me, I'd be more than happy to share with you um, because I feel like transparency is always a great policy. But that, just know that there is a place for you no matter which one of these sounds great. So whether you just want to live the wellness lifestyle and be a customer 
and maybe host a class because you want to help us out and you have a few friends and family who are interested, we can do that. If you want to share and cover the cost of your oils, that's the next step for you. Or you can also go on to build. So many of us start as customers and we just have this slow progression, even though a lot of us are resistant to it in the beginning, um, that kind of just evolves into, into building a team, which is uh, kind of beautiful. And it's something that I think sets doTERRA apart, right? There's not a whole lot of other companies out there like this where you become a customer and you're so in love with your product and you just love it so much that you just sort of start organically sharing. And then before you know it, you're able to replace your income or retire your husband or do, you know, uh, sell all your humans, sell, sell all your belongings and <laughs> move into an RV full time, things like that, right? Okay, so why doTERRA and why now? I think now more than ever, and here we are recording this in June of 2020, um, still kind of in the middle of the COVID-19 pandemic. I would argue that the need for alternate income has never been greater than it is for people right now. I know so many of you um, have been impacted by you financially by all the things that have been going on in our world. I know our family has as well. My husband hasn't worked, hadn't worked since November until um, just two weeks ago. And it's a lot, right? And I have never been more grateful for the income that comes into my life from doTERRA than I have been these last couple of months. Because in addition to my part-time job, I was able to you know, cover all the bills for my family with my husband being out of work um, and we were able to, to be okay. And I know that there are so many people who are not in that same situation. So I have tons of gratitude for that. Um, also, doTERRA is truly thriving in an economy that is not. I had a few people, a few social media trolls, we'll call them, reach out to me at the beginning of all this and say something about how, um, you know, they were hopeful that my business would continue to be okay during COVID-19, but they're very nervous for me and they're very scared. And I think it's well-intentioned, um, but I found it interesting that they wanted to, to share that so openly. And I will very, very openly let you know that this has been the most abundant season for me and my business and our team ever in, in my history with doTERRA. Um, we actually had record-breaking months these last couple of months in our team and with doTERRA corporate as well, and are truly, truly thriving in the midst of all this. And I think there's a couple reasons for that. One, people are fighting themselves with a little bit more time on their hands to learn and wrap their heads around some things. I think they're also ultimately recognizing that it's there's a big need for them to take more ownership and responsibility for what's happening in the four walls of their home, whether it's their their emotional health, their physical health, the health in their families, in their marriages, right? We're, we're having to face a lot of this stuff that maybe up until now we've been able to kind of run away from or scoop under the rug, um, and myself included, right? Like I've had so many hard conversations with my husband these last couple months, y'all. I'm sure you have too, and with your kids being home, and it's a lot, so much. But I think those are some reasons why the appeal to building an income with Zotera <clears throat> now more than ever seems to be seems to be peaking, which of course has me really, really excited because even though my absolute favorite thing is to teach you about how to use your essential oils and how to empower yourself, I would say my second favorite thing is teaching you how to do this and also make money and get your products paid for because ultimately um, that's, that's a really, really beautiful model of, of what we do here. I think it's also, I wanna mention a couple things for you before we move on. I have a, fun little, a few fun little factoids that I did share on our Founders Club call on Friday, but I'll mention them to you here. Um, so in case you didn't know, doTERRA is a completely debt-free company. So they are completely debt-free without any outside funding, and they've been around for 12 years now. They have a similar growth rate to Apple, so they made their first billion in seven years, which is pretty amazing. They are a privately owned company and have told us very explicitly many times that they will never go public. Basically, all that means is that what you will get with doTERRA is what you will always get with doTERRA. So there will be no fingers in the pot of, of all, pulling all the strings and the behind the scenes things when it comes to like our purity, our sourcing, uh, the business model itself, the compensation plan, things like that. There is an executive team. You can Google and read all about them. It was started with three individuals and now has grown. There's seven of them total. Um, six men and one, women, one woman, Emily Wright, who is a powerhouse, and she definitely truly is the heart of our company. I have met several of the executives myself, and they're really, really wonderful people who are truly heart-centered, and I'm so grateful um, for all the work they have done to get us here to this point. Our retention rate, so in the world of network marketing or direct, sell, direct selling or whatever you want to call this industry, um, the average retention rate is between 10 to 15%. Doterra's retention rate is 65%. So that means that in a, on a three month cycle, we have 65% of our customers who continue to reorder, which for you as a prospective person who's wanting to potentially build an income with this company is really great news. Meaning there is no element to where you're constantly having to you know, get, get 10 to 20 new customers every single month. I mean, I'm always enrolling and always um, adding new people to our tribe and that's great. 
but it would be much different if our retention rate was 10 to 15%. I would be working five to six times as harder every single month and not really having enough space to enjoy the fruits of my labor and to enjoy the connectedness of this community. And I know so many of you, if you're, if you're watching this, you're probably already loving your oils. You're probably already familiar with the loyalty rewards program, things like that, right? So you already get this. You already understand how doTERRA could have such a high retention rate because once you start implementing these things in your lifestyle, I mean, I can't even imagine a month where I go without my, like my vitamins and my toothpaste. And this month I ran out of all those things, all of those like, you know, um, <clears throat> consumable daily household things. And I had a moment to myself when I was doing my order this morning thinking, man, there was a time when I would have had to run to Target and pick up all these things. And it's so great that it all comes to me in my little purple box. And I know exactly what's in it. And it's just, you know, even six years down the road now, um, it's really incredible to have access to all, to all of these things. Um, we also have a nonprofit company that doTERRA founded called Healing Hands. And again, you could look that up. I'll drop links to all the stuff below so that it'll be easier for you to access. Um, but the Healing Hands does work all around the world. They have um, projects that doTERRA chooses at a corporate level. There's also a whole nother addition to that where we as wellness advocates can actually uh, present a project idea to them. And should it get approved, they match the contributions and the funding that you get from outside. So um, our um, someone who's a couple level, levels above me in the tree did a, a project in Africa last year <clears throat> where they actually went and they built a kitchen, um, a fully functional kitchen in a really rural area. And it's, um, its main purpose is to like feed a lot of these children who are orphans. And they were able to build this, this big kind of compound kitchen situation. It was really cool. And so they were able to raise $3,000 and the Terra gave them an extra three, which um, covered all of the costs and all their travel and all the things like that. So it's really neat that they have some of these other things at play that honestly, we don't talk a whole lot about here in our group, but I'm happy to share more of that if it interests you, but you can also find all that information on the website as well. Um, and I know many of you know this, but doTERRA is the largest essential oil company in the world right now. They are also the number one company in the direct selling industry in the U.S., soon to be Canada, probably by the end of this year. Um, so that just kind of gives you some, some metrics there if that helps you wrap your brain around it. And doTERRA is the only essential oil company that adopts the co-impact sourcing model. So what that means, and I know many of you know this because I've, I've talked about it so much because I love this part of the company, um, Co-impact sourcing means that doTERRA partners directly with growers and distillers in local regions so that we're getting these high quality essential oils. doTERRA as a company benefits, we benefit as customers, and so do the growers, distillers, harvesters, laborers, um, owners of the, of the land, you know, people who plant things, all of that. So do they benefit as well. In the traditional essential oil company model, these companies would come in and either purchase a farm so they would own the plant, they would own the material, they would hire their own laborers, their own distillers, things like that. Or they purchase the oil from a middleman. So there is like another person who buys the oil from these local farms and then um, marks it up, of course, and sells it to, to another essential oil company. So doTERRA is the only one that has truly adopted the co-impact sourcing model for all of their essential oils. We do have a distillery in Bulgaria now where we distill our rose, lavender, and melissa. Um, but they have fully staffed it with people who are local to the area and um, so several of which have actually like been on that land and been harvesting it and farming there for, for generations, which is super cool. So I, I love the transparency and um, those are just some fun little, some fun little factoids for you. I think that's all I have written down. I wanted to make sure I got to all my things. Okay, so here's some questions you might have now that we're here about 20 minutes or so in. Um, so how do I make money, right? Like that's the big question. How much time is involved? That's what everyone wants to know all the time, especially right now. Um, how could this work for me and what are, what are my next steps? So I'm going to touch on these points very briefly, but know that this is kind of like a brief overview and we can definitely go more in depth. Um, we can hop on a quick, you know, 10 to 15 minute call. If you want to explore this a little bit more, we also have a whole separate Facebook group where I do, um, all my mentoring and training for the people in our team who are leading and building an income with doTERRA. So that's also available to you as well. Okay. So first of all, how do I make money? The doTERRA model is very, very simple. And I think in a lot of ways I have done myself and all of you a disservice by kind of overcomplicating it because, you know, I love talking about, um, monoterpenes and sesquiterpenes and you know the limbic system in your brain and all that stuff at the very very basic core level of doTERRA here are the four things you need to do you need to sample people so they need to experience what essential oils feel like You've got to teach them about essential oils 
you get them started, you enroll them, right? And they become a customer and then you support them. And that's just what you do on loop over and over and over again. So if you can extend an essential oil to someone, even if it's simple as like you're sitting in church and the lady next to you is having hot flashes. That was me last night. I had to like get my little peppermint sprayer out and you, you know, you give it to her. She experiences essential oil. She asks you what the heck that was the next Sunday when you see her because it was amazing and life-changing. You tell her what it is. She gets herself a kit and then you continue to teach her how to use that. If you think you could do that for one person, then you could absolutely build a business with doTERRA. This is what I have done for five years over and over and over again, every single day. And it never gets old. It's amazing every single time. Um, and it's, it's really, really, truly very simple at its core. All right, so here's um, the income potential. And I know this is really small on your screen, but you would totally Google the income earnings with doTERRA if you want to see that. This graphic here is the one that I find is probably the most true to what people are making. You know, some of the numbers out there that, are, that come from outside sources rather than from doTERRA themselves might be have inflated numbers. Um, that's just par for, you know, um, people who are working on social media. Um, but these are pretty, pretty much average. So like I said, it usually takes a couple months for you to start just replacing the cost of your oils, depending on how quickly you want to go, how many people you have who have already expressed interest in, in um, you know, wanting to get essential oils from you. <clears throat> so that would kind of be this like basic level, which is right before, these are some of the different ranks. We won't go into kind of all the, the nitty gritty, but right before that elite level, um, you're probably making between 150 to 200 a month, which for many of you would cover the cost of your oils and your shipping. Um, and like I said, it takes a couple of months. Now, of course, I have been very slow and steady. Um, full transparency, I made a ton of mistakes when I first started building my business, and I've learned so much. So it has taken me um, quite a little while to, to, to kind of work my way up here in doTERRA. And I'm really grateful for it because I've learned so many lessons, and we have a really incredible team. Um, the more and more I connect with other leaders here in this in this industry, I, the more I realize that sometimes going slow and steady is almost better because we're super, super solid. Um, and I'm really grateful for that rather than kind of being on shaky ground. That being said, you can go as fast or as slow as you want should you decide that you want to um, learn how to build an income with doTERRA. So how much time is involved? That's a great question. Um, to get your oils paid for, I would say you want to be spending three to five hours a week. Now, when I say this, those three to five hours are like directly working in or on those four things, right? Sampling, teaching, enrolling, and supporting. Um, what I struggled with a lot in the beginning was that I would count stickering my oil bottles as work, right? Or I would, I don't know, alphabetize them on the shelf or make new roller bottle blends or do a post on Instagram. And even though that can kind of be construed as teaching, really what where the magic happens is like that one-on-one -on -one time. So in three to five really intentional hours a week, you could totally cover the cost of your oils in a few months. If you wanted to supplement your income, so you want to be you know, earning between maybe $500 to $1,000 a month or, or more than that, probably five to 15 hours a week. And again, it's just like anything. The more work you put in, the more you're going to get from it. And then to truly replace your income, you're looking at 15 to 30 hours a week or maybe even more. Um, what I have learned when in my time with doTERRA is there are weeks when I work 10 to 20 hours and there are weeks like BOGO week where I'm working 40 to 50 hours. But again, all of that is a choice that I make. And the beauty of it is I get to pick and choose my hours and how much energy I want to give to it at any given time. My favorite saying though with this is you can absolutely build a business with doTERRA part-time you can build it full-time, but you cannot build it sometimes. So I will say the most important thing here and the one thing that I think sometimes scares some people, myself included from, from time to time, is that the consistency is really, really important. And that's because I think a lot of us as a culture are starting to learn how to sniff out the people who are not authentic, right? And so if I'm just posting about an essential oil once every three months, I'm probably not gonna be the person that you think of when you decide you wanna get started, right? Um, or if you see me talking about essential oils and then I'm doing something that you view in your mind to be like kind of the opposite of that, like something really, really, really unhealthy for myself, then that might not, you know, resonate really strongly with you. <clears throat> Even if it's just someone who's like in your immediate influence and not, you know, an extended audience like on social media or something. So that's kind of the general rule of thumb, though, for how much time you'd, you'd want to be uh, investing. So could this work for you? Here are my questions. Are you passionate about oils? If you're here in this group and you're watching this replay or you're here with me live on the call, the answer is probably yes. Do you love people? Again, I would hope that if all of those, if all those things are true, you hear you're watching this, um, that you probably do. And can you follow a system and get things done? And that last one is maybe not true for everyone, right? If you struggle with um, 
you know, time management or productivity, things like that consistently. There's some like mentoring and mindset work that I could do with you beforehand. And then we could kind of almost work at it as like an internship to where once you kind of master those skills, then you can dive into what it looks like to earn an income. But those are the main three things. You got to be passionate about your oils and living a natural lifestyle. You got to love people and enjoy talking to them. I talk all day long, every day, and I couldn't be happier. Um, and then can you follow a system and get things done? We have the systems in place but you have to be the one to follow the system and actually, you know, complete these different tasks. And a lot of times that calls us out to do some really scary things. I do things almost daily that freak me out. Um, every time I press go live on any kind of video, I get nervous. I get butterflies in my stomach every time and it's still this far in. So um, you're definitely not alone if this feels a little overwhelming or a little scary for you. And I'm telling you, if it does feel that way, this is probably a little nudge from the universe that you might want to explore this a little bit more um, because that means that something is interest has like piqued your interest a little bit, right? Kind of use that internal um, thermometer. So what's the next step? Most of you here have what we call a wholesale customer account, right? So if you have your wholesale customer account, which you do, you're just going to upgrade your account. There is no fee associated with that whatsoever. Um, and I can teach you how to do that. It's just one button that you click, you upload your account and you'll become a wellness advocate. Honestly, there's absolutely no difference between wholesale customer and wellness advocate other than a wellness advocate has the opportunity to earn commission. If you're a wholesale customer, you don't yet have that and that's okay. That's kind of how we kind of keep them distinct, but you have no different minimums. You don't pay anything more or anything less. I am just a customer, just like the rest of you. I'm just also able to earn commission based off of the other people that I you know, bring into the tribe and share oils with, okay? If you don't have a wholesale account or you have someone who you think might be interested in learning about this, who's not yet a customer, but you know that they're seeking um, some financial freedom and some residual income, they would need to choose a kit and get started with their oils and then set up their LRP. Here is the one I get asked all the time, what are your sales goals? What's your like, requirements for building a business. There's only one other than being a wellness advocate. You have to do that. And the second, so the only one that you need to worry about is that you must do a hundred PV LRP every single month, every single month. It's up to you what you put in that, but you have to be on the LRP program and it must be over a hundred PV for you to qualify for commissions. And the reason for that is it would be very easy, I think, for all of us as advocates to say, okay, well, you be an advocate, you be an advocate, but to really make sure that you're embodying this lifestyle, you're probably taking some supplements, you've swapped out all the things in your home, you're using your essential oils, you are making um, a lot of your own DIY stuff, right? You've ditched chemicals and candles and things like that, so you're diffusing all the time. So that 100 PV mark is kind of what doTERRA has determined as like a baseline for you to be really embodying this, this lifestyle of using essential oils and our products to then be able to earn commission um, off of other people. Hopefully that makes sense. And then the next step after that is just to simply reach out for help and let me know that you're ready to go. I'll plug you into our training and all of our resources that we have um, and we'll kind of just get you going. And then after that, you can start making your list and this is your list of people who you already probably know and you're probably already thinking of them right now who have come to already and expressed an interest in learning about essential oils or the people who you think would like essential oils, but you haven't had a chance to talk to them yet. We're gonna make that list. We're gonna get them a sample and then I will help you do all of the rest. It gets really, really easy from there. So I wanted to wrap up by sharing this super cool quote from David Sterling, who was our president and CEO. So he's quoted by saying, if you wanna change the world, you have to empower people. That's the only way to make any permanent effective change on the world. And I would argue that that's Absolutely true here in doTERRA, as well as so many other facets. And it's something that I feel really, really honored to get to wake up and do every single day. So thank you so much for entertaining me and being here on this call and learning with me. If you have more questions or you want to explore what it looks like for you to take the next step, reach out to me or whoever got you started. If there was someone else who got you started and you um, have a better connection with them, feel free to reach out to them as well. And let's set up like a quick 10 to 15 minute discovery call so we can make sure that your questions are answered and get you plugged into some resources and, and see you know, how, how it wants to go from there. If you're still not quite sure and you wanna like kind of dip your toe in the water, what you could do for us this month is offer to host a virtual class. So many of you remember I started back in March and I told you we were participating in this elite travel program. And um, the travel program is actually a travel program has become virtual and it's coming to a close at the end of June. So we have one more month and our team is super close to graduating this Diamond Club travel program. So if you want to dip your toe in the water, but you're not quite sure if you're ready to like go full in, 
now would be a really awesome opportunity for you to host a class for us. So reach out and let me know what that looks like is you send me a list of some people who are interested in coming to class. I send you some samples that you're going to give to them or if they don't live locally in your area, I mail them out to them. We get together in a Zoom room. I teach them about essential oils. They get started and then voila, super easy, right? And you can kind of see the flow of it. And I'll show you how I teach our classes and all that stuff too. So let me know if that resonates. If you have any other questions at all, I am happy to answer. Oh gosh, I think I'm having some lagging with the internet, but hopefully you can still hear me. Um, I will wrap this up because the internet is clearly telling me I need to stop talking. But thanks so much for being here. I love you all. I hope you have a great afternoon and we'll talk soon. Bye.